Do you know Ukulai English? Do you know what's currently happening in the country? And what is special about Ukraine? Stay tuned to find out. So, I'm Wade. I'm Ruby. Ruby, do you know what's happening nowadays in Ukraine? Well, actually, I don't know much about the country, but um, when I think of Ukraine, mm -hmm. I think of Ukraine Brides. Ukraine Brides? Yeah. Have you heard of Ukraine it before? Ukraine Brides? No. So I heard that the female and male ratio is off in the country, so there's actually a lot of women trying to get married, but they are having trouble finding the ideal guy. So, you know what? Yeah. You're, you're you right. It yeah, I looked it up. It mm -hmm. says that. It is because of a more having more women and less yeah. men. Yeah. And it says that they are hospitable, they're friendly, mm -hmm. they're sharp-witted and, and open-minded. Pretty, of ambitious, course. Ambitious and you know come from traditional family values. Yeah. yeah. Wow, yeah. sounds like my kind of. Okay. Kinda well, girls. Um, before you head there, I would actually recommend you to know a little bit more about the country. So back to the article that I was okay. talking about okay. that I saw idea. on Fundeda Asia. Fundeda Asia. Okay. So it seems like there is a potential invasion from Russia to Ukraine, That's and it right. sounds scary. What do you know about this news? Yeah. So actually, it's pretty crazy because um, what's happening is. Ukraine and Russia, obviously, mm -hmm. once upon a time, was ruled under the same government. Yeah. But have Ukraine has since gained their independence. Mm -hmm. And so, what's happening is the reason why Russia is now invading all this potential invasion was because they be, they started to place troops around Ukraine. And wow. the other side to the story is NATO. NATO is mobilizing troops as well mm -hmm. in an event that mm -hmm. war breaks out. That sounds very serious. But yeah. before we get into that, that sounds a little bit negative. Can we talk about a little bit more information about the country? Like where is it located or what is it famous for? Sure, yeah. So Ukraine, I believe most people would know, is in Europe. Mm -hmm. Eastern Europe to mm -hmm. be more specific. Mm -hmm. It is the second largest on the continent mm -hmm. after Russia. Mm -hmm. Wow, the capital is Kyiv, and that's located in Dnieper River in north central Ukraine. So that's its location. Yeah, that's a lot of information. Yeah. But what's 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 fun? Tell me something fun about the location. You know what? I looked this stuff up, oh, yeah. and I got some fun facts for you here. Great. So actually, one of the more interesting things is we all take the metro here, right? The we MRT. Do. I personally do. Super convenient, yeah. and if you're around Taipei, you want to get to places easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ukraine mm -hmm. has the deepest metro station. What do you mean? It's usually like two or three floors yeah, down? I don't know what's the deepest or longest one we have here in Taipei, but I know that... I think at most three floors. Yeah, yeah, or three. Yeah. Ukraine has one that is 105.5 meters deep. How deep is that? I, I can't Okay, imagine. so to give you, to give you some uh, idea of yeah. what, it the, yes, what it would be, if you take the escalator from the top yeah. of this metro station yeah. all the way down, it would take you five minutes. No way. Yeah. Five whole minutes? Yeah, that's enough to play like a full song. Exactly. Like, we have this feature on Fanita Asia that's called Music Box. So you music can actually box. go on Music Box. Play a full song. And sing with the singers and you wouldn't reached the ground yet. Yeah, you would get down and you'd have a full song done, listened to. So That's apparently crazy. lots of people actually prefer taking the stairs. And I sometimes do that as well, even here in Taipei. You do? I do, because sometimes, you know, like rush hour, it gets mm -hmm. so crowded and yeah. everyone's trying to squeeze onto the, the escalator. Yeah. And I'm always, I always find like a person <laughs> that like that I arrive at the same point with yeah. and I run up the stairs to try to beat them. I'm sure you do all the time. <laughs> yeah, so. Mm -hmm. That's quite an interesting fact and pretty crazy. That is. So do you have okay. other interesting facts? Okay, sure, sure. Let me give you another one. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of this place called the Tunnel of Love? Sounds very cheesy. It sounds cheesy, mm -hmm. but let me show you the picture and you tell me if it's cheesy. Oh, it looks like a maze. Yeah, so it's pretty crazy because it's this place that's composed of green arches Mm -hmm. And it's a railway road that is actually five kilometers long. And this is all natural? Natural. Yeah, so how this actually even came about was the trees were planted early yeah. on in the days uh -huh. to conceal the transport of military hardware. Oh, and over yeah. time it's grown and now it looks like this beautiful fairy tale kind of wow. landscape. Yeah, this definitely is would like crazy. to. crazy. I would definitely like to visit this yeah, spot. Yeah, check it out sometime. Yeah. When you go to spots, you get hungry, right? When you travel. So my mm. thing is actually food. Is there anything food. delicious there in the country? 
Yeah, so you know what? Lots of people know that in Eastern Europe, mm -hmm. borscht, I believe I'm pronouncing it correctly. I just borscht. spell it. B O R S C H T. Yeah, I pronounced borscht too. What is it? It so, sounds yeah. like barbecue? <laughs> well, not quite. It's more of a stew type thing. Mm -hmm. So here, take a look. There's a picture. Oh, wow. Look at that color. Yeah, it's very, very red. And the red actually comes from beets. Oh, that makes sense. So what this mainly consists of, uh, it's like a vegetable soup with beets, cabbage, potatoes, tomatoes, carrots, onions, garlic, and dill. Mm -hmm. Those are like the main things that it's composed of. But I believe this is a dish that many, many uh, people love and enjoy in that place and it's a special mm -hmm. cuisine and yeah. actually also originates in Ukraine. Wow, yeah. well it does sound very healthy so mm -hmm. I guess I'll try it out as well when I visit. Yeah, so is that enough fun facts for you? Can we get back to you? Yes, okay. go ahead. Well, so like I mentioned earlier, right? Uh, another big part of this whole component mm -hmm. is NATO mm -hmm. besides Russia, Ukraine and NATO. Yeah. So I want to first find out, do you know what NATO stands for? I was scared for that question, <laughs> scared that you'd ask. Well, mm -hmm. I'll give it a wild guess. Um, maybe National Advanced Team Operation? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> was I close though? Yeah, you're so close. It stands for the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. I was so close. Mm -hmm. It's also called the North Atlantic Alliance. Mm -hmm. And the organization implemented the North Atlantic Treaty that was signed 4th of April, mm -hmm. 1949. Wow, a long time ago. Right. So what's NATO's role in, in this whole situation? Yeah, I figured you'd ask, right? So NATO was established as a military alliance created to defend against the Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. okay. So back in the day, obviously there was a lot of tension, mm -hmm. right? This is close towards the end of World War II. Mm -hmm. And so NATO was an organization that was implemented to make sure that nothing like that can happen again in the future. Yeah, we want to okay. keep as much of the peace and therefore of all of these different countries that join. And so NATO's role in this whole story is mm -hmm. that Ukraine decided that they also wanted to have a part of a free trade pact with the EU because yeah, Ukraine course. wants to be more democratic. Yeah, yeah. And that is not good news for Russia. Of course not. Yeah. So um, what's happening right now? Is it because um, they want to join NATO or is there more to the situation? Yeah, so Ukraine, besides wanting to become more democratic, what's happening is Russia, and particularly more mm -hmm. Putin, the president of Russia, yeah. has now realized the importance, and I mean, he knows the importance of Ukraine. Yeah. Um, because the location of Ukraine is actually uh, right between Russia mm -hmm. and all the other NATO states. Very sensitive. Yeah, so it's a very geopolitical, strategic location. And so Russia knows that, and Putin, knows that if Ukraine becomes a part of NATO, mm -hmm. then they would be right on their doorsteps. Definitely. Right, so yeah. to him, in his mind, he does not want that to happen. That cannot happen. That cannot happen. Mm -mm. He wants to make sure that he has control. Mm -hmm. Another big thing is that back in the day, Ukraine, as well as Russia, mm -hmm. were actually, like I mentioned, governed under one government, which was the Soviet yeah. Union. Yeah. And therefore, they are very similar in people group, culture, mm -hmm. language, mm -hmm. so they share lots of similarity. Yeah. And therefore, Putin believes that they are still one people. Well, I guess in a way he does make sense. Mm -hmm. But based on my understanding about the country, Ukraine, I feel like they are more democratic. Like what they're looking for is already very different from Russia. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. They want their independence just mm -hmm. like many countries these days. And in a globalized world that we're living in right now, mm -hmm. it makes sense that people want to be able to progress and be able to have yeah. the freedom yeah. to choose. Yeah. What do you think? Do you think there's going to be a military confrontation? And did you learn something interesting about Ukraine or something that you didn't know? Please share with us, hit that like button, share and subscribe, and be sure to visit more on our Fun Day website. Fun Day Asia. I'm Ruby. I'm Wade. We'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.